Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more W2K15 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. Two weeks out from the SummerSlam pay-per-view and we are coming at you hot with another episode of Main Event and SmackDown today. So, let's go check out what we have in store for you guys for today's Main Event. So we have Paige coming up against Nikki Bella and Brie Bella will be in Nikki's corner. So, can Paige kind of continue the little bit of, little bit of momentum she's built? Golden Stardust will take on the number one contenders for the tag team titles, the Charisma Code. And Fandango continues to look to dominate over Mark Henry in a one-on-one -on -one contest. So can he do that? We'll find out. So Nikki Bella knocks off Paige, and I guess Paige's little run of momentum has been halted. It is now over, and the Bellas continue to have one up over the Divas Champion as the Charisma Co. They continue their dominance by knocking off Golden Stardust. And Fandango does it again against Mark Henry. So, okay, so we have the Usos coming up against the primetime players to kick off this week's SmackDown. So Fandango, as you just saw, another victory over Mark Henry. Is he in title contention? We'll see. Rusev will take on Rey Mysterio. Now, this is interesting. Where's the big show? We don't see the big show with Rey Mysterio here tonight. That's very odd. Is there a split or is there something, dissension between the two? I don't know. Brie Bella will take on Naomi one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, Nikki and Cameron will be joining them respectively ringside. Eric Rowan will have Luke Harper in his corner for his match against CM Punk. And Batista will be in Punk's corner. And we have Bray Wyatt in action. He will have to defend the Intercontinental Championship against Fandango. And that will be no holds barred. And how about this for tag team action? The Undertaker will team up with Brock Lesnar to take on Bad News Barrett, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, and the man that Triple H will face, well, Brock Lesnar will face at SummerSlam, Triple H. And he, this is Triple H's first match on SmackDown as well. So the Usos versus the primetime players. It will be the Usos winning again. They're building a bit of momentum, so perhaps they could be title contenders soon. Mysterio, his return to singles action is a successful one over Rusev. Naomi knocks off the, D the number one contender for the Divas Championship, Brie Bella. Punk and Batista get a big victory over Rowan and Harper. As we move on to our, num uh, our title match, this is our championship matchup. I was going to say move on to our number one contenders match, but no, Fandango has done enough to get himself an opportunity at Bray Wyatt. And it really has been a very impressive number of weeks for Fandango. I think a lot of you guys are wondering, does he, will he get an opportunity? Does he deserve an opportunity? Has he done enough? You know, what's the situation with Bray Wyatt and CM Punk? Because of that, will that stop Fandango from getting a shot? No. Our SmackDown General Manager Edge decided today that it was time that Fandango gets his rightful opportunity. It won't be at SummerSlam. It will be here tonight. I don't know what exactly Bray Wyatt will be doing at SummerSlam. Will he have to defend his championship? I doubt it. I'm pretty confident that we're going to see the tag team titles, the world tag team titles. It will be the Wyatts, to, uh, the Wyatts to take on Punk and Batista. So there's another match up there. And of course, like I said earlier, if you didn't know, The Undertaker and Bad News Barrett will go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam as well. And we'll see those two guys get in the ring together later on. We'll talk about that more as that match happens. Here comes our man Fandango though, and man, he has been mighty impressive. I tell you what, he's been, you know, doing everything he possibly can to get himself an opportunity for this championship. And I'm very surprised that Fandango is in this spot because you go back not too long ago, Fandango couldn't buy a match. He couldn't win anything. And I guess the move from Raw to SmackDown has done him the goods. It took him some time to get in this spot, but he's kind of flown under the radar. And it hasn't been for the past couple of weeks that we've just started to notice that he is winning and winning and winning. And his record is very impressive since uh, we've transitioned over the new game. So I'm very impressed with how Fandango has uh, performed in the last few weeks. So I think he deserves an opportunity here tonight. And a bit of an impromptu kind of matchup for Bray Wyatt. He probably wasn't expecting to have to defend his championship. But uh, that's what champions have to do. They have to be ready at all times to defend their championships. And... You know, you look at Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family, they have absolutely dominated everything to do with SmackDown in the past, you know, month or two. So, I don't think Bray Wyatt will be all that concerned with having to defend his championship here tonight. He's certainly looked very, very strong, and, um, you know, he knocked off 
CM Punk at the recent Money in the Bank pay-per-view. He probably will get away with having to defend his championship at SummerSlam, which is probably why we are seeing the match here tonight. But I think CM Punk will still want his IC title back, and uh, he'll want to try and take down the Whites in every capacity. And obviously, the, a big chunk of the Whites' dominance has come from the tag team division, so trying to take those titles away at SummerSlam could be a good start for Punk and Batista. And of course, Batista getting involved with Eric Rowan in, uh, over the past number of weeks. And, uh, you know, he decided to help out CM Punk. You know, they both had a common enemy. They decided to team up, and they've done pretty well as a team so far. Of course, we saw Punk knock off ha uh, Rowan earlier on. So that was very, very impressive from CM Punk. So he's still winning the matches he needs to win. Of course, Batista, he's been good as well. He got the big pinfall over the Whites last week. And the big six-man tag team match was, of course, Punk, Batista, and The Undertaker taking on the Wyatts, and uh, Batista got the pinfall victory, I believe, over Luke Harper. Here's the cover, though, from Bray Wyatt, as he took down Fandango with a big pl planting him down, hooking the arm and planting him down, and it's not enough to put him away, though, as it's just a two count. Fandango hitting back with the suplex there, and uh, Fandango, you know, he really is a fighter. You think about it, you know, you think about a guy who's struggled for months, and it kind of has been a bit of the, the, a common story here on SmackDown. We've seen so many guys come from Raw over to SmackDown and just find so much success, whereas guys coming from SmackDown over to Raw haven't really achieved anything. So I guess SmackDown is kind of the place you want to be. And uh, you think about all the guys that dra were drafted from SmackDown to Raw. Um, you've got Yalboto Del Rios. Probably the most successful guy has been Chris Jericho. He kind of re revitalized his career there. I mean, Christian as well. Um, Sheamus had a bit of success. As Hang on. Sister Abigail coming from Bray Wyatt. And there it is. The Sister Abigail. Is that enough to put Fandango away? Two. And no. He kicked out at two. How the hell did Fandango kick out at two? And now we might be seeing a couple of toys introduced into this match. No, Fandango putting an end to that as he comes outside the ring. How the hell did Fandango stay alive in this match? And just to finish that point, you see so many guys coming from SmackDown to Raw and just struggle. Whereas you look at the guys coming from Raw to SmackDown. CM Punk, um, you know, he won the IC titles. He covered from Bray Wyatt again, though. And a kick out at two. John Cena, two-time world champion. You know, Brock Lesnar, he's starting to get some momentum going. You know, he had a bit of a, a mishap with the injury and things like that. But you know he's going to come back strong. And obviously Fandango here. So I guess coming from Raw to SmackDown has certainly been a very successful transition for a lot of these guys, unlike the uh, the other. And old Fandango looking good there against Bray Wyatt. Follows it up with a leg drop as well. So Fandango... He suffered some damage early on in this match, but he looks as though he's coming back strong, trying to fight his way back in this match, stay alive, and uh, keep his hopes and dreams of finally winning gold here in Universe Mode alive. As Bray Wyatt, what's he got planned here? He's, uh oh, hooked the arm, and his hands underneath the legs, and takes down Fandango, plants him in the corner. The ropes won't play a factor, but he kicks out at two just. I thought the rope break would be apparent there, but uh, I guess Fandango just not quite tall enough to get to the ropes. Uh-oh, Bray Wyatt takes down Fandango. That could be enough to put him away. Cover, is he gonna retain the title? Yes, he does. Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family do it again as, there you go, look at this. It's all started from here. The, the sister Abigail, Bray Wyatt, retaining the Intercontinental Championship. He does it again. How good is Bray Wyatt at the moment? Can anybody stop him? Can anybody stop the Wyatt family? Uh-oh. Here's CM Punk. Here comes Punk. It could be this man. It could be CM Punk. It could be CM Punk to be the man to take down Bray Wyatt and his family. We will find out at SummerSlam as a huge clash. Punk Batista versus the Wyatts. Big time match. And speaking of big time matches, it does not get much bigger than this, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes our world heavyweight champion, the dead man, and the ruler of the SmackDown Yard, the Undertaker. And of course, he successfully put John Cena to rest at Money in the Bank. And now, with Bad News Barrett's recent victory over Cena, it was enough to put him in title contention. 
Edge making the announcement in this episode. He told me to tell you all that Undertaker and Bad News Barrett is going to happen at SummerSlam. It is official. Bad News Barrett will finally get an opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he does there. Can he finally step up and step into the main event? And speaking of the main event, there is no bigger main event than this man. The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, the Conqueror. Oh, there you go, Brock Lesnar. He's here on SmackDown. I guess it's almost a rare SmackDown appearance for Lesnar. We don't get to see him in action all that much here on the blue brand since uh, his arrival not too long ago. And it's good to see him back. He just returned from injury and he's going to be back in action. And will he get his hands on Triple H tonight? On, on Triple H here tonight. And here's a man that's kind of, I suppose, aligned himself with Triple H, Bad News Barrett. And we saw uh, Triple H walk Bad News Barrett out to the ring and manage him last week. And uh, it's good to see Bad News Barrett, I guess, stepping it up a little bit. But aligning uh, himself with Triple H, I'm not too sure about that. I guess you got to do what you got to do to, to make it ahead in this business. And I suppose you look at the success that Lesnar had with Triple H, maybe he's trying to emulate the same thing. And uh, speaking of the man, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the game Triple H. He is making his first SmackDown appearance as an in-ring competitor. The first time we have seen him wrestle here on a weekly TV episode of Universe Mode. He's only had a handful of matches here in the series. You go back to it, um, TLC, or sorry, Survivor Series. He was a part of the three-man three authority team. TLC had a match against The Rock. Um, Payback, he had a match against Brock Lesnar. And of course, at Money in the Bank, he had a match against Randy Orton. So only four matches in universe mode. He's got a three-in-one record. And here tonight, he will be teaming up with Bad News Barrett for his first match here on SmackDown. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. The game has arrived, and he is here, and he is looking to get his hands on Brock Lesnar and vice versa for Brock. Brock hasn't really had much of an opportunity to get his hands on Triple H. Of course, you go back to Money in the Bank. After Triple H's big loss against Orton, Lesnar came out and uh, dealt some business to Triple H of his own, taking him out with a big F5. And now the game is looking to get his revenge here tonight as we get this match underway. It is going to be the, the Undertaker and Bad News Barrett going at it. Oh, Taker just launching Bad News Barrett across the ring. So it is official, ladies and gentlemen. Bad News Barrett and the Undertaker will go at it at SummerSlam. And I'm really looking forward to see this match because we've seen the Undertaker and John Cena numerous times in recent times. And we've seen the Undertaker really step it up. You know, we thought for a moment, okay, if he loses against John Cena again at Money in the Bank, that might be the end of The Undertaker. But once again, The Undertaker, he found something. He dug deep. He pulled out another big victory, and he managed to beat Cena. And many of you guys were crying out, please, Cena doesn't deserve another shot. He had his chance. He lost. He lost the title. Somebody else has to step up and take down The Undertaker. And that has been bad news, Barrett. So this is a big opportunity for Barrett to really step up here tonight. And uh, he's coming up against The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, two of the biggest stars here in Universe Mode. So this is no bigger opportunity right now than for Bad News Barrett to make a name for himself and really step up and prove to everybody that he deserves to be in one of the main events for SummerSlam, which is shaping up to be huge, ladies and gentlemen. The Rock, Randy Orton. Brock Lesnar, Triple H, and now Bad News Barrett and The Undertaker. And oh, man, this is going to be a big, big show. It's coming up really soon, SummerSlam. We're going to start pumping out the episodes of Universe Mode. Um, I will say I have been away on vacation. If you've been wondering where I've been, I've been away on vacation. Uh, I will be returning to Twitch very, very soon. So within the next uh, week or two, I will be back on Twitch, hopefully. That's the plan, if all things will work out. So we'll be back on Twitch for about a week. And um, before I do go away again, I will be going away for a week or so again. I hope to have SummerSlam up. So uh, I will. I still will be making videos while I'm away, but I just don't really want to make uh, a big SummerSlam video uh, whilst I'm away. So hopefully we, you know, we get that out pretty soon. So I'm looking to have SummerSlam out sometime next week so stay tuned for that that is going to be awesome as triple h is in the ring now against the undertaker and my goodness has these two guys 
And they've had their battles over the years, haven't they? They've gone to war many, many times and they're going at it once again here in universe mode. Take a oh, big time knee to Triple H. And now The Undertaker's got Triple H up. Uh-oh, Triple H's going for a ride all the way to hell with that choke slam. Here's the cover. And Triple H kicking out very, very quickly. He was not going to get caught, caught away quickly with that. And uh-oh, well, here you go. What a big statement to make to the game. And there's the tombstone to Triple H. Welcome to SmackDown. And oh, he kicks out at two and a half. Oh, wow, that is big from the game. I guess proving why he deserves to be in this position as one of the top guys here in Universe Mode. He's only lost the one match throughout Universe Mode. And he's looking to continue that impressive record here tonight. And here we go. Triple H and Lesnar in the same ring. Lesnar's got Triple H. Oh, just launches him over into the corner of Bad News Barrett. And Triple H will be looking to get a tag ASAP. And, uh, uh oh, there's a D DDT, a big time DDT planting Lesnar into the corner. And there's a big move from Triple H to try and get himself back in this match. He suffered a choke slam, he suffered a tombstone. Not exactly the welcome to SmackDown he was looking for, but um, Triple H is here nonetheless and he's trying to fight and he's got Lesnar in the corner working him away of course Triple H he dominated Brock Lesnar the last time these two guys met you know I think it took what three pedigrees to put Lesnar away it was such a, a classic matchup between these two but of course after the match Triple H took it upon himself to take out Lesnar and uh, took Lesnar out for Ooh, at least a good seven, eight weeks. I think it was nearly a two-month period, wasn't it? So he returned at Money in the Bank. And so, yeah, two months Lesnar was out for. So now, now Triple H tags in Bad News Barrett. And we'll see what Barrett is all made of. Oh, Spinebuster to, to Brock Lesnar. We'll see what Bad News Barrett is made of. And we'll see if he can uh, hang with the big boys. He's looking to do so right there as he plants down Lesnar again. Another impressive maneuver from Bad News Barrett as he launches Lesnar into the corner again. So this step up to the main event has been a long one for Bad News Barrett. You've got to remember Bad News Barrett, the most successful Intercontinental Champion in the history of Universe Mode. He held the title on multiple occasions. And ever since he lost the title, he hasn't kind of floundered away in... You know, in the mid card, doing nothing. He's stepped up. He's been in amongst it with the likes of Undertaker, CM Punk, Batista, John Cena, and now Brock Lesnar has added to that list. So he's been amongst all the the top guys. As oh, down goes the Undertaker, and now Bad News Barrett working away that knee driving into the back of Taker. He's also had the arm as well. So now Triple H is going to re-enter this match. So Bad News Barrett has been involved with some of the top guys here in SmackDown. So this transition to the top has been a long one, but it's been a very deserving one. He deserves this opportunity. He's been waiting a long time. And uh, we kind of felt as though a few months ago that he was ready. You know, he'd done enough. But uh, he had to wait and wait and wait. Wait for his opportunity. Wait for his time. And he's now... Uh, paid his dues and now he's ready to go at SummerSlam one on one against The Undertaker who's looking to get a tag to Lesnar here and he will so successfully see so now Lesnar and Triple H going at it again and Lesnar oh look at that a big shot with that left hand and now the driving the elbow the shoulder and then following it up with a clothesline so Lesnar looking in control against Triple H right now who trying to just get himself out of this ring and you, know, you can tell that Triple H doesn't want anything to do with Brock Lesnar right now. And uh-oh, Lesnar's got him up. The powerbomb, there's one. Can he make it three? There's two. Has he got enough in the tank for three? Yes, there's the third. And here's the cover. Bad News Barrett coming in. And he's going to save the count for the former CEO of the WWE here in Universe Mode, Triple H, of course, who lost his job as the authority thanks to the hands of Randy Orton. And now Lesnar, uh-oh, he's got Triple H up, F5, F5 to Triple H, and is that enough to put him away? Here's Barrett, and he will break the count again, saving the match for Triple H, and you know, what is this relationship between Bad News Barrett and Triple H? Is this some sort of a new alliance? Is this Triple H managing Bad News Barrett? Is this Bad News Barrett, Triple H's new lackey, you know, his new, you know, hitman? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see as... Bad News Barrett breaks it up again 
and uh, stops Lesnar from winning this matchup against Triple H. We'll have to wait and see what this relationship does build to, if it does build to anything. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how often we do see Triple H here on SmackDown. Will it just be a short-term thing whilst he deals with Brock Lesnar? Will he be in the ring more often? You know, will we see him back as a full-time competitor now that he's no longer in power? All these questions need to be answered very, very soon. I'm looking forward to seeing what does happen with Triple H. And of course, we saw Triple H. Has he dealt some deal with The Rock as well? So Triple H, despite um, not being in power, he's still got a lot of power. He's still working with some of the top guys. He's working with the two number one contenders for both titles here on the two brands, The Rock and Bad News Barrett. And there's a big double A spine buster. He's now looking to follow it up with a pedigree. Triple H looking to get his revenge against Lesnar after he dealt with an F5. And there's a pedigree to Brock Lesnar. And now can Triple H find the cover? He's down and out. Can he crawl over to Lesnar? He's trying. Lesnar trying to get back to his feet though. Who's going to get to their feet first? It will be Triple H. And uh-oh, here comes Lesnar. There's the tag. Here comes The Undertaker. Bang! Down, down goes Triple H. Here goes Barrett. He, he meets The Undertaker himself. And uh-oh, Undertaker is heating up. Just launches Triple H over to the other side of the ring. The cover. And I think the rope, the rope break was there. And Triple H very close to the ropes. So not even a count anyways. Undertaker, oh wow, my goodness, what a right hand there from The Undertaker, one of the best pure strikers here in the in WWE Universe mode. He's certainly proven that over the past number of months after title victory after title victory, big match after big match, and it continues to defy the odds of, of um, humanity, of, you know, aging continues just to dominate. Uh, Smackdown, oh, there's a tilt the world slam. And down goes The Undertaker who sits up straight away. What a message to send to Bad News Barrett. You can hit me with your best shot, but I'm going to get up straight away. And uh-oh, are we going to see a bit of Snake Eyes? Here we go, there it is. Here comes The Undertaker. Big boot. Down goes Barrett. Here we go. And a leg drop as well. And is that enough to put Bad News away? Is it going to be good news for The Undertaker and bad news for Barrett? No, it will not be as... Triple H saves the count this time for Bad News Barrett. And now Barrett can find a way to stay alive in this match. And uh-oh, Wasteland. No, no, it was not Wasteland. I don't think he's got that, that knee driving into The Undertaker again. And here's another cover. Triple H is coming. Lesnar's coming too. As, um, it doesn't matter. Undertaker kicks out his own authority there. As uh, Bad News Barrett looking to deliver some bad news to The Undertaker just before SummerSlam. One more week until SummerSlam, which is going to be huge. Stay tuned for BrendanPlays.com for all your SummerSlam news and updates as uh, we'll be releasing some match previews on the website. And here goes Barrett. Choke slam by The Undertaker. Is that going to be enough? Triple H is there and it's a kick out. Again, the pinfall broken at uh, the one count. It's unfortunately for The Undertaker not able to put Bad News Barrett away. But he might be setting him up for that tombstone. Here we go. Bad News Barrett is in huge trouble. Tombstone. Pile driver. Surely that's enough. And no, the rope break again for Bad News Barrett. And Undertaker down his haunches. This could be an opportunity for Bad News Barrett to strike back and put him away. And what's he got planned here? Oh, big power bomb from Bad News Barrett. Undertaker could be in some trouble. Oh, what a bull hammer elbow. That's enough. Surely. Two. Three. Yes, that's it. Bad news. Barrett delivers bad news tonight to The Undertaker. And my goodness, what a way to send a message to the dead man. The bull hammer elbow. He launched him up in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Universe Mode. If you did, please do leave a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe as well for more Universe Mode episodes coming up real soon. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. More videos from me coming up real soon. Thanks, guys.